What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is getting done from the van. So first of all, ignore the hair. It was done because we hit 50,000 followers on TikTok and my man hit over 300 likes in his comment which got him the pink hair. So I hope you like it. Anyway, this week's video is going to be on about job quoting and how I go about quoting jobs. So first of all, a client will get in touch. Right now we are only source of work is via word of mouth and pretty much through TikTok and Instagram. That is all our places of work. So first of all, the client will get in contact. And But the most important thing that I'm sure that we do to not waste anybody's time, because obviously our time and the party's time, would be that I give a, an average breakdown of how much a bathroom is for us. So for my business to supply and fit a bathroom, we are roughly between £6,000 and £7,000. I will be honest, in the last three years, I've probably not done a bathroom under £6,000, fully tiled anyway. And the average bathroom for us is probably roughly between 20 and 25 metres squared. And that's basically what comes in between the six and seven thousand pound mark. Okay, so first of all, we'll give that down and the client will either completely ignore me and never get back to me, or they'll say, yeah, yeah, you know, that's within budget, that's what we're thinking of. Bear in mind, everybody's pricing and everybody's way of working is completely different. I'm straight to the point and I just make it work. So now I know we're in budget and 99% of the time, if we're in budget, I've got the job because we come with a great reputation, we come with over 300 five star reviews, and we come recommended for one of Falkirk's main showrooms. So I can't really complain too much at that. So, first of all, we'll take a travel out to the property. So, sometimes I'll take some brochures with me, books. Um, it's very difficult. Normally, what I really like to do is I like to get to the job, meet the client, make sure the client's for me, and make sure that I'm for them because. In theory, right, I really, I want to do a bathroom and I want to enjoy doing it and I want to step back and take a picture and go, this is amazing. You know what I mean? So if the bathroom's going to look nice in my opinion, I really then want to do it. So basically, what we'll run through ideas and a lot of the time, it's not just me pricing and they'll say, look, the guy, this guy said we can't do that and this guy said we can't do that. There has never been a time that I've known been able to make something happen for a client, especially shower trays. A lot of the time, the guys go, oh, we can't get your shower tray on the floor. And it's pretty much because they didn't want the extra work involved to make it happen. But for me, I think it's worth going above and beyond, above and beyond. Above and be totally worth going above and beyond to make sure that the client's needs are met. Um... So what we'll do is we'll discuss positions, we'll discuss what kind of tiles they want, we'll discuss, you know, that's it. It's, mm. it's, it's very basically, basically my quoting time, I'm only in a house, maybe 30 minutes if I'm lucky. Because I'll go in and then I'll get the metre squared for the walls, I'll get the metre squared for the floor. Do you want lights? Do you want niche lights? Do you want the, do you want the switch move to outside? And then basically that's it. We'll just say, right, that's us. We'll go away and I'll send a price over. And then I'll go away, kind of put together, I'll get my merchant to send me a wee quote back in the materials and I'll say, look, you're £6,895. And they'll say, yeah or nay. Basically, I like, to keep, I like to keep it straight to the point and minimum because you do waste a lot of time quoting unnecessary stuff. You can sit and waste a lot of time on unnecessary stuff quoting you know you could go three to four hours quoting by the time you speak with the client organize you're on the job for an hour you're measuring up you come home you spend an hour on the computer sending your quote away you do that I, physically i don't even sometimes i don't even email a quote across i'll just text them and say look this is the price and if you're happy i'll send you a detailed quote over and it just saves Again, it saves me time because in, in theory, we're running your own business. Your time is precious and you really can't afford to be wasting it with the amount of admin and work that goes on. So I think the straightforward approach, straight to the point, get it done. A bit, obviously, I'm personal and you know I go in above and beyond for anybody and a lot of my clients will tell you that. So I'll just tell you a wee kind of relatively kind of story of how we won the, the last you know, two jobs we've came up against, right? So we've went and priced... I've got a wee hair that kind of keeps tickling my nose. Um, 
So, right, what happened is we went out to quote a job and this time the clients, like, sometimes it's really hard to get a read on a client. They're there. It's very difficult, especially when they're right to the point, quite blunt with you, you know, and you're just like, okay, normally it's nice to hear we laugh and a joke and th- this one was quite particular, like, yeah, I'd like this, I'd like that, I'd like this. But what they had dealt with before me was a showroom. Now, they sent the girl in the showroom out to price the job up. Fair enough. You know, that's your model. But what's happened is she doesn't really understand roots, plumbing, the way things will work. She was, I've had a couple of people and they've not been able to tell me how to get the roots to the bathroom because they didn't have a hot water up in the bathroom. So I've says, look, we can come out the kitchen under the kick plate. Then we can take it through into this cupboard, up through the cupboard. We'll lift the carpets in your bedroom and the uh, little, it's a... Uh, Makeup room for say, and then we can run it into the bathroom for there. And they were like, "Oh wow, that's that's actually a great idea." So in theory, you know, that's one us the job. Then on to the second one is basically what's happened is we've went out to it and we've priced it up. And she only had a six hundred space and she had to fit a bath in it, which you can't really get six hundred baths. So. The last guys had told her that they can't get a bath under the window because you're not allowed a bath at a window, which is a load of BS. But it's purely because they want this job done in five days and they don't want to do many alterations, which is like that with a lot of companies. So basically I said, look, we'll just lift all the floor, we'll run a new four inch out, we'll drill a hole, we'll take it lower down, we'll move the sink, we'll move the toilet, we'll move the shower and just flip everything around. It'll allow you more space, it'll give you a bath, it'll give you a shower over your bath with a nice screen and it'll look amazing. And it was basically a case of, yeah, you've got the job. Purely because I am wanting to spend a wee bit more time because there is companies that must, get the bathrooms finished in five days in order for them to make money. Yeah, make money's great, but it's no great if you're rushing and making mistakes. So my bathrooms normally take about seven to ten days, give or take. But guys, I appreciate you listening to me ramble on about that, and if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and even the notifications button to see my videos when they load up. I appreciate that, guys. Peace out.